Good evening, Rodrigo. Good evening, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Yeah, I see you talking, but I can hear you, Rodrigo. Oh. Hi, good evening. Good evening, now I can hear you. How are you? Fine, very fine. Always say the same. Fixes Great. The computer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you were having trouble with the audio, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we, I, I have the hardware very sophisticated, and I oh. don't have to put the, the spin. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it happens. But, yeah, but I am ready. And you? Great. Well, I'm doing pretty well. well. I I'm doing okay. pretty well, yeah, it's all right. So my day was kind of busy, but yeah, it was all right. Very good, well. good, good. How about your I day? Think, uh, fine, fine, very fine. Okay. Very fine. I have a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I like my job, that's important for me. Exactly. I enjoy the class, I enjoy the class. Oh, nice. I'm glad to yes. hear that. I, I uh, spend mm -hmm. the time uh, the waiting for this moment because I can practice and make it the the relations with the other guys. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? Yeah, and I have uh, the question because uh, uh, through the day I can uh, I can read, I can listen, uh, and I I watch or I see all the words and. Uh, I have a, a practice. I ask him, and I ask you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm here to help. So yeah, whenever good. you have any doubts, just let me know. Okay. That's good. That's good. And mm -hmm. for the next model, I have to same process. Or. Um, yeah, you have to do the same process. So you have to send some documents you are asked for. Oh ah, and, yeah yeah. You have to just oh. register as if it was a, a different level. Well, a, it's a different course, let's say. So oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Today I finished the the last part. Last part, I finished. Oh, you're in section five already. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, I I was reading today uh, mm -hmm. something about the uh, name the. Uh, phrases, verbs, phrases, phrases, verbs? Phrases, verbs. Yeah, yeah, it, it's very interesting because uh, you know, get in, get on, mm -hmm. get up, exactly, it's, but it's very extensive. Yes, it's yeah, so it's kind of complicated to get them all, but it's good to know the most common one at least. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, I I have uh, uh, questions. Tell me. Uh, of that, uh, get uh, get out, get mm -hmm. out. What what is the example for get out? Get out, like um, get out of here, for instance. Like if you were here in the in the room, let's say, and then okay. I tell you get out of here. So that is okay. to go away. You get out. When I say of the get room. out, okay, the room, so, yeah. somewhere place. Exactly. For example, for example, uh, uh, for example, get out of my car. Is correct? Yeah, yeah. You could say it that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. Good evening, Vicky Martinez. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Yeah, How was your you? day? I'm doing well, thank you. 
So how was your day? Um, I I was hard day. Okay. And nice. All right. Yes. Yeah, so gladly it's over, right? Well, almost over. We just missed yes, a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. And how about the platform, Vicky? Did you have any time to practice today? Yes. Um, and I start Unit 5. Okay. Today. Unit Section mm -hmm. 5 already. Mm -hmm. Nice. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Adonai Portillo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. Thank you. I'm okay, teacher. Very good. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, tired, but good. All right. And how about the platform? Did you have any time to work on it? Yes. I'm finished the unit four and I start the unit five. All right. That's great. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Hello. How are you, Juan Carlos? Teacher. Very okay. good. Okay. All right. Excellent. So, have you been working in the platform? Uh, I only need the final exam. Oh, you're only missing this final exam. Almost done. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good evening, Silvia Roxana. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Excellent, teacher. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. So how was your day? Okay, teacher. Um, relax. Um, um, and work. Um, quiet. Okay, that's nice. So do you work from home? Sylvia? Um, I'm from Mexicanos. Okay. And do you work from home now? Mm -hmm. Or do you have to go to your office or, well, your workplace? No, teacher. Uh, I am work um, super selectos. Oh, okay. Um, Sacamil and Mexicanos. Oh, uh, two right. super selectos. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and you have to move. And visit two super selectos. Whoa. Yes. Um, nice. One one day, Sacamil, uh, other day, eh, Mexicanos. All right. O sea, un día completo estoy en cada super. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Very good. <laughs> good evening, Hilda. Hey, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Great. Okay. Pretty well, thank you. Okay. So how was your day? Ah, I, my day, I was a different day. Okay. Because, because in my job, uh, there was a virtual event. Event. Okay. Yes. So uh, what do you I, do, Hilda? I support. I support. I support. Okay. Actually, just finish right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So that's nice. I, I go in uh, at Fusalmo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. 
But I'm fine. I I feel very. Sorry, I couldn't hear that last part. Yes, because cars are pass very fast. Yeah, and also the connection isn't very well. Okay. No, and then uh, I feel no, but uh, tired, but I feel it, I feel fine. Okay, you're satisfied with the results. Yes, 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 yes. That is very nice, very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, um, do you have any questions about any of the exercises in the platform or any of the topics, maybe? No? In moment, no, teacher. No. no questions. How about the others? Do you have any questions? No? All right. So I think we may just go ahead and make a review of the different topics we have studied. So welcome, everybody, to our fourth class. And with this, we, uh, we finish the third week, right? And we're just missing one week to finish the pre-intermediate one course. So let's see, we're going to start by practicing and making invitations. As we studied yesterday, we used the verb, which one? What verb do we use to make invitations? Teacher, excuse me, when the, when the finish the, the, this, this course? We finish it next Thursday. I don't remember the date. It's 19th or 20th. I don't remember. It's 19th. Okay. So we finish on November 19th. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, you're welcome. So let's see. Let's remember what structure do we use for making invitations? When I want to invite somebody to do something, what do I say? Would you like to? Would you walk? like? Would you like to drink? Exactly. Would you like to drink some coffee? Would you like mm -hmm. to drink some tea? Okay. You offer something, right? Or would you like to go to the movies with me? Or what could be another example? Let's see, Juan Carlos. Can you give me another example, please? Would you like to go to the stadium? All right. Very good. Adonai, do you have another one? Would you like to eat some pupusa with me? Excellent. Okay. So that's how we make invitations, right? Now, in order to practice, I'm going to give you some um, phrases that you may use, some information that you may use in order to invite a classmate to do something. So you are going to make questions using would. For example, let's see, Hilda, would you join me for coffee? Would you like to join me for coffee? Yes, I like. Okay, pretty well. Now, Hilda, you ask somebody else in the group. Okay. Using this information. Uh, Adonai. Yes. Would you like to have lunch with me? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I'd like to. Yes, I'd like love to. to. Okay. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to. Excellent. So let me just remind you about this. Um, we say, would you like to? Always remember you need the two. Would you like to join me for coffee? Would you like to have lunch with me? Okay, now Adonai, continue inviting people to do something. Okay, Vicky, would you like to come to the cinema tonight? Sounds great. Excellent. Vicky, it's your turn. Vicky, can you would you 
Go ahead. Would you like to go? Okay. Would you like to go to watch the paradise, uh, Marina? Uh, hello. Would you like to go? Excuse me. Would you like to go to watch the paradise? Yes, okay. All right. I will as I would like. Excellent. So here this word is parade. Parade. Repeat please. A uh, parade. All right. And do you know the meaning parade. of parade? A desfile. Exactly. Desfile. Okay, so Marina, you continue. Um, uh, Hilda, come to the would you like barbecue? to? Ah, would you like to come to the barbecue at the tennis club? Hilda? Hello? Um, sorry, teacher, I have the problem with my internet. Oh, okay, don't worry. Did you hear okay. the question? Uh, yes, uh, would you like this, this, this one? Yes, the last yes. one. Uh, okay. So, do, would you like to come to the club? Sound great. All the right. Answer. Excellent, Ilda. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I have a problem with my internet. For don't worry. I understand it. Second. It happens okay. all the time, so don't okay. worry about it. Okay. Silvia Roxana, it's your turn. Would you like to drink? Would you like to, to drink some tea? Okay. And who do you ask? Two. Um, Choose a classmate. Um, yes, I like I like teacher. So, okay. So, Pretty good. Thank you, Sylvia. Yeah. And let's see, we have another okay, one, Rodrigo. Can you make an invitation to a classmate? Yes, for example, to Adonai. Would you like to read a magazine? Yeah, yes, I like it. Okay, excellent. And another one, Adonai? Teacher, I have a question about the... Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. In this case, it's necessary to say, uh, would you like to? Two, only one, two. Only one, two. Yeah. It's only okay. one. So, would you like to drink? Would you like to read? Okay. 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 Oscar, would you like to play soccer with me? Oscar Ernesto. Yes. Let's see, Oscar. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So, I don't Voy know. entrando, teacher, oh. no sé exactamente en qué estamos. Okay, so don't worry. We are just making invitations using would you like to and the phrases I have here. So Adonai just asked you, would you ah, like okay. to play soccer with me? What's your answer? And the answer? Uh huh. So what is the answer? Say, I'd love to, I'd like to, um, I'd love to, but I can't. Sounds great. I don't think I can make it. Um, is necessary to 
for example, like, like I like to. Yes. Uh, okay. I like to. Um, I don't understand the answer, teacher. Okay. So the question is, would you like to play soccer with me? And then uh, okay. if you accept the invitation, you could say, sounds great. Or you could also say, um, I'd love to, I'd like to, right? That is for accepting. If you do not accept it, you say, I'd like to, but I can't. I'd love to, but I have to work, for instance. Okay? For example, I like to football, soccer. I'd like to play soccer. Um, yeah, you could say like, I'd like to play soccer with you, but I can't. For example. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Any other question or doubt about this? No more, okay. Yo hago la pregunta. Um, no, I was asking you if you have any other question about the invitations with wood. Uh, okay. So is it clear? Um, no more. To... A little bit. Okay. So, um, well, after the class, let me send you some uh, more information in the chat. Okay. Okay. So you have some more um, ways to answer. Okay. So let's see, now we are going to review the verb be. I know that you have studied it in the section number one, so let's just review it. Remember that um, we have different forms for the different um, subjects, right? So we start with I, what's the, the corresponding form of the verb be? The person am. Am exactly you say I am. Yeah. Then we have you are are he is is she is is we are are, are they are uh, uh, and also let me add here it we say it is it is right okay so that's the verb be we have three different forms um is and are right so uh we also have the contracted forms for i am the contracted form is um, 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 i'm 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 i'm, I'm. I'm. Okay, so we say I'm. For you are, we have? Your. 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 Mm -hmm. For he is, we say? His. 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 She is becomes? His. His. She is. It is? It is. Well, it's. it's and we are where we're, we're, we're they are we're. becomes there they there right okay so please repeat i'm 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 i'm, 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 I'm your your, your his his, his, his. she's it is. It is. It's. 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 Where? 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 There. 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 Okay, and then we have the negative forms, right? So for the negative, we only add not after the form of the verb be. For example, I have I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not, not. we are not, and they are not. And we also have some contractions for the negative. Which ones? They aren't. We have aren't and isn't. Isn't, exactly. 
All right, so having mentioned this, let's just move on to the practice. So here I have a subject and a complement. I need you to make a sentence. Let's see, Rodrigo, can you give it a try, please? Yeah. You make a sentence using the verb be. I'm a Michael. I am Michael or I'm Michael. Very good. Now make it negative. I am not Michael. Exactly. And how about the question? Am I Michael? Exactly. Great. Okay. Next one, Juan Carlos Peña. You're my brother. Exactly. Negative. You're, you're not my brother. You're not my brother. And the question is? Are you my brother? Great. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Franklin, you're it's welcome. your turn. Uh, he's an engineer. Exactly. Negative. Uh, he is an, an engineer. Very good. And the question is? Uh, is he an engineer? Very good. It's cor it correct. Yes, it is. Is he an engineer? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, next one, uh, Marina, help me please. He's pretty. <laughs> She's, she's pretty. She's pretty. And the negative is? She's um, pretty. Okay, now the question. Uh, is she pretty? Exactly. Very good, Marina. Thank you. Next one, Oscar Ernesto. It is lovely. It is lovely, negative. He is in love with it. And the question is? Uh, is it lovely? Excellent. Next one, Adonai. We are good friends. Okay, negative. We are not good friends. And the question? Are we good friends? Excellent. And the next one is for Silvia Roxana. Uh, Number seven. They seven. Are. Mm -hmm. They are co-workers. Yes, the negative. They, they, um, mm, mm. they are not, they aren't, or aren't exactly, they are not co workers. Okay. And the question it, it, it is, is they, is they are co workers? Uh, in that case, you use are. Are they? Um, are the co workers? Exactly. Excellent, Sylvia. Thank you. Next one. Let's see who hasn't participated. Um, Hilda? Yes, teacher. Can you help me with this sentence, number eight? I am a painter. Okay. The negative is? I'm, I, I'm not a painter. And the question? Uh, are, you, uh, are you a painter? Okay, pretty well. Next one, Vicky. 
He is my son. Negative. He he said my son. In the question. Is he my son? Great. Carlos Cruz, can you help me with this one? They are my nephews. Okay. In the negative? Uh, they are in my nephews. Okay. And the are they question, my nephews? Are they my nephews? Very good. All right. So that's how we use the verb be in the affirmative, negative, and questions. Now let's review the simple present. So remember that for the simple present, we have to change the verb, right? So how do I change it? Who remembers? What do I do in this case? For example, if I have a sentence, let's see, um, tell me something you do every day. Any ideas, any sentence about something you do every day? I am a working. I work, right? I, I, work, work, I work every day. Very good. Okay, so we have the verb work. Now what happens in the case I want to, I want to change it, for example, for she. If I change the subject to she, what do I do? What do I have to do? She works. Works, that's right. Works. She works every day. So that means that for the third person, I have to change the verb, right? I have to add S, E, S, or in some verbs, we need I, E, S, right? I work every day. She works every day. I study every day. She studies. Studies Exactly. So always remember that. We change the verb for he, she, and it at S, E, S, or I, E, S. Okay, so now in order to practice, we are going to unscramble these sentences. So let's see, for example, the first one, can you unscramble it? Can you put it in the right order? We, we drink tea every day. We drink tea every day. Yes. And now I need everybody to open the chat, please. Everybody open the chat okay. now. We drink tea every day. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one, Vicky, can you write it please in the chat? Okay. All right, meanwhile, let me assign number three to Juan Carlos Peña. Juan Carlos, can you write number three, please? This, this beer has beautiful colors. Exactly, can you type it in the chat, please? Okay. All right, and Vicky, we are waiting for number two. Please type it. Okay. Okay, so meanwhile, let's see, uh, we have Number one, we drink tea every day. What happens if I want to change it to the negative? How do I change it? 
Let's see. Ador With a ring. Um, yes. Sorry, my connection seems to be wrong. It's not working well. But okay. we're back. So let's see. Um, so we were talking about the sentence number one, right? We drink tea every day. How do I make it negative? Uh, mm -hmm. we, we don't drink tea every day. Exactly. We say we don't drink tea every day. And how about the question? Are we um, tea every use day? Do. Use do. Do. Uh, do. Mm -hmm. uh, do. Do we? I don't know. Do we drink? Uh, do we drink tea every day? Exactly. Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. All right. Then yeah. we have number two. It's Frank studies biology. Frank studies biology. Can you make it negative? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Frank doesn't study biology. Very good. And how about the question, Rodrigo? Does Frank study biology? Exactly. Does Frank study biology? Very good. And number three, Juan Carlos says, this bird has beautiful colors. How about the negative, Juan Carlos? This bird have not beautiful color. This bird um, doesn't. Doesn't have beautiful colors. Doesn't have beautiful colors. And the question would be? Yes, doesn't. Doesn't this bear this bird how beautiful color? Very good. Doesn't does this bird doesn't you use does, does. Bear, does this bird does uh, is it, yeah, sorry does does bear mm -hmm. have a beautiful color? Very good, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Next one. Um, let's see. Adonai. Can you write the next one in the chat, please? Number okay, four. Mm -hmm. And number five would be for Roxana Lisset. Roxana, can you take care of number five, please? A woman ne never says her age. Very good, Roxana. And how about you make it negative? Mm. A woman? A woman. Don't mm. or doesn't? Doesn't. 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 Says. Say. Her, say. Doesn't say. Never her age. Uh, a woman doesn't say her age. In the negative, you cannot use never. Okay? No. Oh, okay. You don't use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about the question, Roxana? Does woman um, does a woman say just um, forget um, about never? They omit never. Yep. Um, does woman say her age? Pretty good. Thank you, Roxana Lisset. Okay, Adonai, so you say many shops close at seven o'clock. Very good. Now make it negative, please. Um, okay, maybe he doesn't. I think so. Uh, sorry, what did you say? I use doesn't in this case. 
we're talking about shops, which is shops. plural. This is so, plural. Yeah. So in that case, we're talking about they, right? They. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you help me with that? Sure. I don't remember that. Okay. So we say many shops don't close. Okay. Don't close. Many, uh, shops many shops don't close, don't close at, close seven, at seven o'clock. Exactly. So remember, we use um, don't because we're talking about shops. That is plural. So if we want to change many shops for a pronoun, that would be they. Okay. If we were talking about only one shop, then it's it. And okay. then we need the third person, right? Doesn't and closes. No se me confundan con esa parte, aunque sean cosas o personas, pero cuando estoy hablando en plural, eh, perdón, cuando sean cosas o animales, pero si estoy hablando en plural, eh, igual tengo que eh, manejarlo como que fueran they. For example, ah, okay. a house sería it, pero si lo it. cambio a houses, sería they. They. Ah, Same okay. goes with shop. A shop, it, shops, they. Okay. All right. So there we have another one. Can somebody help me, please? Anybody? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Silvia. Thank you. Um, in negative. In the affirmative first. Ah, okay. Uh, the gardener uh, cuts the grass. Exactly. The gardener cuts the grass. Now the negative, Sylvia? Uh, the gardener doesn't or don't? Yeah. yeah. Don't, the gardener don't. It doesn't. The gardener about he. Uh, doesn't. Doesn't? Ah, okay. Completely. The gardener doesn't the grass. Doesn't the, cut the, the grass. The, the, cut the grass. Okay, and the question would be? Uh, he, it's the gardener. Does the gardener? Uh, the, the grass, that's good, I see. Cut, the grass. cut the grass. Cut the grass. The gardener cut, cut the, the grass. grass. Okay. Cut the grass. Thank you, Sylvia. All right, so here I have another one. Um, Carlos Cruz, can you help me please? Carlos, are you there? Oh, sorry. I have a question. Okay, uh, I use I use does in a plural. Oh, does in a singular. It do and don't and do in plural. Yes. So you use does in the singular in the case of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for the case of the the plurals, we use um, do. Okay. Okay. All right, so now can you help me with sentence number seven, please? My father travels to, to twice spying a year, no. My father travels to what place? Twice a year, twice okay. Spain a year. So I it goes know. like, my father travels to Spain twice a year. Uh, okay. Spain is the country, right? España. My father travels to Spain twice a year. In the negative, Carlos? My father don't, doesn't Travel to Spain 
twice a year. Exactly. And the question? Is my father, no. Does? Does my, does my father travel to Spain twice a week, twice a year? Twice a year? Okay. Very well, Carlos. Thank you. All right. So the next one, let me try it. Let's see. We have we. And let's see. Can somebody help me with this one? It goes like we brush. Anybody? We brush. Teeth. Our teeth? No, no we, brush we brush our teeth, teeth or mm -hmm. teeth three times three times a day. a day. Three times a day. Okay. And in the negative, we say we don't brush our teeth three times a day. And also, the question is do don't we, we. Do, do we brush our teeth three times a day? Okay, next one, it says, we write the answers. What's the negative? We don't. We don't. We don't. Write the answer. Write the answers. The question? Don't write the answer. Do we write the answers? And the last one, he takes the bus. Negative? He takes the bus. Mm -hmm. Can you make it negative? He, do he, don't, he, he doesn't take a bus. He doesn't take the bus. And the question would be, does he take, does the, bus? He take the bus? Does he take a bus? OK, so always keep that in mind. In the affirmative, we change the verb for the third person, he, she, or it, right? At S, E, S, or I, E, S. In the negative, we use don't or doesn't. And for questions, you have do or does. All right, so now let's move to the next topic. Oh, first of all, we are going to go to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes, and we're going to talk about our daily routines. So what do you do every day? Um, well, I get up at five in the morning, I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I get dressed, then I eat breakfast, I go to work and so on, right? You talk about your daily routines, include the schedule, right? The times when you do something. And um, I want you to please take notes of what your classmate says because when we come back, we are going to share about our classmates routine, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right, so just take a couple of minutes to talk about your daily routine and remember to pay attention to your classmates routine. Okay, let me send you right now. There you are. Go ahead and accept the invitation, please. Okay, I have a problem with the internet. If I. Roxana, Roxana, I know you. Every day. Is... <laughs> yeah. I, I was a stranger. I, excuse me? I was a stranger. <laughs> I was missing you. Okay. Yeah. Well, only. Okay, okay. If, if you want. Five minutes. Okay. Juan Carlos, you first. Were you scared? Hello, Rodrigo. Hello, Rosana. Hello. Hello. Can you start with the activity? Juan Carlos? Okay, you want okay. first? Uh, okay, I, I, I start me? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, I get up at six in the morning, and then drink coffee, and seven seven thirty I I go to work, and I in the in the in the noon I have a lunch. Um, I I go out the my work um five p.m. and then uh I mm -hmm. uh I finish work at six p.m. Finish work six p.m. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I I get up uh, at five a.m. Um, I take a shower. Five a.m. Yes, I okay. I I get up 5 p.m. Uh, no, 5 a.m. <laughs> I am. I take a shower. Uh, Pero, but I can finish. <laughs> uh, always I I lost my time and I came to finish the course. Fíjate que yo aquí, eh, más que todo por el tiempo, no me, no me conecto, pero eh, yo a, a veces me sentí así como desubicado. Salud, por... Fíjate que yo, yo, yo trato de practicarlo porque en el trabajo me lo piden, pero la verdad sí, antes ya lo había estudiado. ¿Eh? Ay. Ay. Go to my job. Well, I go to my. How do you say suegra? Eh, mother in law. Mother in law. Mm -hmm. I go to my mother in law all days at 6 a.m. because I. ¿Cómo se llama dejar? Ah, tú vas a dejar a tu suegra. A mi hija. A a mi hija. Ah, tú vas a dejar, ah, pues sería que quiero ver, voy a ver la traducción. Mm, como entregarla, algo así, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno. uh -huh. Llevo a mi hija a take. Uh, so you say drop off. I drop my daughter off. Okay, I drop. I drop my daughter I drop off. My daughter us off. off. Teacher, please type in the chat. Sure. Drop. Sure, let me do it. There you have it. Okay. Okay. I drop, I drop my, my daughter. I drop door, oh, daughter my off. Mother in law house. Ah, okay. Exactly. Okay, I okay. I go to my work at seven o'clock and I start to my job at eight o'clock. And I take my lunch at when um, he you start the job at, at eight o'clock. Eight. Okay. okay. So yes. Okay. I take my lunch at twelve o'clock. What at ten? Twelve. Twelve. Yes. 12 o'clock. 
and I returned to my job at 1 p.m. 1? What? what did you think? 1 p.m. All right, I don't know what happens to the others. They're not here yet. <laughs> Teacher. Tell me. And, and just get in, in Carlos, uh, the situation they, they drove the daughters, remember? Yep. Mm -hmm. In the inverse uh, situation, for example, uh, recoger. So that be to pick her up. What? Pick her up. Let me just Pick. write it in the chat again. Okay, thank you. So, so it would much. be like I pick up my daughter, for example, at 5 p.m. There you are. Thank I pick up so my much, daughter teacher. at 5 p.m. Or in the case of Carlos, you say he picks up his daughter at 5 p.m. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so let's share a little bit about the, the daily routines. So let's see, do I have any volunteer to start talking about a classmate, a classmate routine? Me, teacher? Okay, Hilda, go ahead. Okay, and my, my, my friend is Carlos, Carlos oh. Cruz, mm -hmm. okay. He wakes, he wake up at six in the morning. He go, I draw your daughter, his daughter, his daughter uh, of the mother-in-law house at 6.30. He start a job at eight o'clock. He takes lunch, 12 o'clock. He returns the job around 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. He attends another business at 2, 2 p.m. And he pick up, pick up his daughter at 5 o'clock. Only that teacher. Okay, pretty well, Hilda. Just remember, whenever we mention a specific time of the day, we say at, at 7.30, at 5 p.m., at two o'clock, for instance. Okay. All right, okay. very good, Hilda and Carlos. So let's see, do I have another volunteer to share? Um. Roxana? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, my... And last night is Rodrigo. And All right. He wake wake up at six a.m. Mm -hmm. And he takes his breakfast at seven a.m. And he visit his customers at eight or nine a.m. And he returns home at 5 or 6 p.m. All right, excellent. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, I think we got, yeah, exactly two minutes. So let's have another participation. Let's see, do I have another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Adonai. 
my partner are Oscar and Vicky, but in the case of the schedule of Oscar. Okay. Uh, he got up at 6 a.m. In the morning, uh, he brush his teeth, take a shower, eat a breakfast in the morning. He start to work at 7 a.m. Uh, usually finish his work to 4 p.m. That's it. That's it, okay. So remember, we say he finishes his work at 4 p.m. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. And okay, so another thing you say in the third person, get up, gets up, gets, gets up. up. Okay. So okay. in the case of the phrasal verbs that take two different words, los verbos que llevan dos palabras, como wake up, get up, or uh, we also have um, get dressed. So we add the S to the first word. Le agregamos the la S a la primera oh. palabra, ¿verdad? Gets up, oh, okay. wakes up, gets dressed. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, and also some other things that I heard. Well, in this case, we're using the simple present. So please do not use the verb be. Don't say I'm go. Uh -uh, you don't say that. You say I go, okay? I go, okay. I okay. eat. I cook, I buy, I use. Don't add the verb be. En este caso no utilizamos el verbo to be a menos que estemos diciendo algo que lo requiera como I am happy, right? Okay. And also remember about the times of the day. We say in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, but we say at night and at noon. Okay. Um, all right, I think that's pretty much it. And also remember for the morning we say a.m. For the afternoon, p.m. Afternoon and night. Okay, do we have any questions, any doubts? Not really? No. Great, no. so remember to keep working on the platform and we're going to have a class on Monday. Okay. Okay. Bye, teacher. Okay. All right. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.